welcome to the first part of a four-part video series uh, going through how I built a desk uh, all out of solid walnut. Uh, this is actually going to be my desk, so uh, it had to be something awesome. So I put a lot of time into the design of this, um, and I knew it was going to be a big challenge for me. Um, so in this part, we will go through uh, the, the process of building the drawer cases. starts out with uh, breaking down some, some rough stock. These boards were all about 9 or 10 inches wide so I had to rip them down uh, so that they'd fit onto my joiner. was certainly the most time-consuming part. I think it took about 20 hours to get everything cut, cleaned up. These drawer cases are connected with brew dovetails that are mitered on the corners.
And it was truly a relief to get that finished up. After so many hours, you really become challenging to, to keep focused, stay patient, and, and not rush through things. Uh, any of that shows through immediately in the final product and, and really compounds on itself. So Next up, I had to build the drawer frames. Uh, the drawers are actually going to ride on wood runners, so I had to build uh, kind of the divider and frame that the drawers will slide on. Um, and then also the kickers for the top. Um, so the kicker is actually made with cutoffs from the uh, carcass sides, and uh, that enabled uh, me to compensate for any kind of wood, wood movement. Um, they, they basically expand and contract at the same rate as the, the drawer cases. That worked out. has to be one of the most gratifying things in woodworking. Taking a piece from rough all the way up to fully finished with a couple swipes. Really doesn't get much better than that. After routing the groove that the drawer frame sits in, I had one more thing to make and that was the back panels. For the back panels I'm using some curly quarter sawn white oak that has a lot of punk and burl and just really wild grain to it and uh, really looked awesome after I got some Odie's oil on it. These are the drawer kickers I mentioned earlier in the video. They're just dominoed in place and they keep the drawers in place as they're going in and out. And after that, it was time to pre-finish the insides of the cabinet. I'm just using shellac here. It's a rise really fast and man, that first coat just looks incredible. After about 24 hours in the clamps, it was time to clean these up a little bit and set them aside while I worked on some other pieces for the project. There are three more videos coming out, so go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.